And some rough news for a South Spokane fire station. And the neighborhood it protects. I know that this is uh, not going to be something that some citizens are going to want to hear. But it's the reality the fire department has to face now dealing with a $1.3 million budget shortfall. Well, the plan on the table to significantly change the way Station 9 runs and take out a fire engine of service. That station located at 18th and Bernard on the South Hill. KXY Force Kylie Cruz is there live tonight. And Kylie, why Station 9? Well, good evening, Mike and Nadine. There are other fire stations in town that don't receive as many calls as Station 9 behind me, but they're in remote parts of town, and the fire department says that putting Engine 9 out of service and relying on nearby stations for help makes the most sense. At the corner of 18th and Bernard, they're just good neighbors. Sits Fire Station 9. There's been a fire station in this neighborhood for more than a hundred years. For Stephanie Gross and her family, it's more than just the local firehouse. They're always working on their yard and working on the station and want to teach the kids about about the trucks and about their job. But some of their good neighbors could be gone because of a gap in the budget. When our budget is primarily people, we have to make changes. We have to modify our deployment system. Earlier this fall, the Firefighters Union, Local 29, agreed to a new contract with the city. Wages will be frozen for next year, but extra health care costs will leave the fire department $1.3 million in the red. So here's the proposed plan to deal with the shortfall. Engine 9 would go out of service. The firefighters that work here would be transferred to other stations. Nine rookie firefighters would be laid off. It is very emotional, not only for the chief staff, but for the people in the stations, for the community. About 80% of the calls at Station 9 are medical. Only 20% are fire related. The two person rescue crew currently at Station 1 downtown would move here and handle all the medical calls. As for fire calls, this station would have to rely on help from nearby stations. When the speakers open up and it's a fire, that company is going to be rolling out with two people with no firefighting uh, capability. So when they arrive, there's a limited amount of things that they can do. As for Stephanie Gross, she hopes the neighboring firehouse stays put. We're just really lucky to have them so close and we wouldn't want to lose them. These layoffs are in addition to the nine vacant relief firefighter positions that are on the chopping block in the city's 2013 proposed budget. City Council is expected to vote on this proposal along with the rest of the budget in the coming weeks. Reporting live tonight outside of Fire Station 9, I'm Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 HD News.